Hi, uh, welcome back. I am so excited to share. I'm working on video quality and this is much better light to do the intro in daylight. So we're standing in my entryway as my friend. Anyway, so today's video, while I get rambling, is my entryway table where I normally just stash all my mail and keys and stuff like that. I decided that that clutter trap is getting taken care of, okay? So took care of the mail situation. I have a better situation for that. This little cabinet has um, four cubes. It's a cube cabinet I picked up at Walmart years. So um, the top, I always, I, I like to have it just inviting. I have a mirror above it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you what I did and we'll go through each of the DIY topics. But before we get started, I just wanted to do just a huge shout out to one of my best friends, long-term friends who have supported me through all, in so many years, pushed me to do things like go back to school and, and help me out there. And as well as push me to explore my creativity more and put myself out there on YouTube and social media. So big shout out to Eric in Philadelphia. Thank you for encouraging me to do this. Let's get started, let's get crafting. Our first project is this boho bunny head wreath doing macrame using mop heads from the Dollar Tree. I used three mop heads and a wreath, bunny head wreath form as well as scrap fabric and scrap ribbon. Our first step is to cut off all the rope strands from the head of the mop head. All the rope strands end up being about the same size, so I just simply looped them through on each of the layers. So the bunny head has three rows, and the ears have one row each. So I just looped them around over and over again, and again, it took up about three mop heads. I also wanted to add that little plastic piece from the mop head that's left over, still has some rope attached to it, you can use that as a scrubber or even a paintbrush to make some interesting texture paint styles. Here we'll take the bunny back now that it's filled out to my craft table. We'll, we will hot glue the fabric in behind as well as make the accessories, which is the messy bow and gluing some Dollar Tree carrots on to finish the project. So next we're gonna go ahead and make that messy bow. And we will do that with using various types of ribbon. You could use the same type, same width, or use various like I did. And cut them about four and a half inches um, in length. And then we're gonna bunch them up and use a rubber band. The, ru the tighter the rubber band on it will make those sides flounce out better for you. And it's really that simple. Now, anytime you work with ribbon and you have raw edges, you're going to have fraying. So here's a trick that I like to do. Light a candle, okay? Take that ribbon, all the edges that you've trimmed, and I'm going through and just fluffing and trimming, and just run it past the candle or a lighter, and it'll miter those edges so they don't fray. So now that I'm completed with that, I'm going to go ahead and glue on some ribbon to cover the rubber band. Um from the bow as well as hold this bow on to the bunny. So I looped it through to the back and it's just a strand of seven eighths ribbon. And what I'm gonna do is glue that messy bow down and then cover it with the ribbon so it covers that rubber band. Then I'm going to go ahead and accessorize that. I think I'm gonna use one of those wooden little bunny butt from the, my last videos that I have. I have a few left over, so I'm gonna put one in the middle you can use anything. You don't even have to use anything. The ribbons covering it is enough. And then I'm going to go ahead and accessorize and add some Dollar Tree um, styrofoam rope covered carrots at the bottom. And that will complete this wreath. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. I also should note if, if you want to go ahead and level out those uh, edges and make sure that they're all the same length, it's a good time to go ahead and trim those rope edges but otherwise I absolutely love how this turned out um, now let's go to our entryway table I picked up this glass hurricane at Goodwill for three dollars and I wanted to fill it with various style eggs I did use some plastic eggs that I put some stickered gems on as well as decoupage so let's go ahead and start decoupaging eggs I had these paper eggs on him from last year and I 
picked a design using Dollar Tree napkins. So Dollar Tree has a good selection of printed napkins. Um, you just got to look at, well, for what I'm doing, cutting up strips in gingham, it would look funky. So that couldn't work. This design wasn't going to work. The butterfly seemed to go well. Purple wasn't really my style. So the butterflies did put it, fit well for spring. Um, I also found these styrofoam eggs. However, I didn't end up using them. I was going to cover them with the gingham print and it just didn't look right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the Dollar Tree butterfly napkin. And what we do is we want to pull out um, the second layer. So they're a two ply. So you want to separate the two and do a two ply and just make it a one ply. The thinner, the better, because what we're going to be doing is using Mod Podge, which is like a watered down glue and it can make up a napkin pretty fragile. So just be cautious of that, but we do want to make sure that print comes through and not have that layer. So we, that's why we remove that extra layer. Next, I'm going to use my Fisker, Fisker's rotary cutter and cut these into one inch strips. And then what we'll do is use those one inch strips and simply just layer using Mod Podge. Dab Mod Podge on the paper egg, wrap more um, paper napkin around it, and it just becomes this abstract art. I really love it. In some cases, the egg, you can actually turn it and see parts of the butterfly, and it's just really cool. So I really love how this project turned out. I um, layered about maybe eight strips on each egg and let them dry overnight and they turned out perfectly and it's just the biggest trip trip with um uh, trick with mod podge is to just use your finger and not rub too tightly just gently rub the mod podge in uh, cover it with mod podge and it'll dry clear it's a really nice product to work with and it's at the dollar tree as well Next, let's look at the sticks that are coming out of the hurricane. I use these. They're a, a skewers, wood skewers from the Dollar Tree. I simply glued some wood beads on them and then used styrofoam bunnies at the top. I like to put these in flower arrangement. Next, we're going to take this 80 cent little container and remake it to look like milk glass, but in a blue color. And we're going to use Dollar Tree diamond stickers, place them throughout this tin jar, and simply spray paint it. So we'll take it outside and use Krylon Blue spray paint, and I love how it turned out. Now, word to the wise here, if you're putting food, even wrap candy, I suggest putting something else in there. I put a double layer paper napkin just for food safety. You spray paint, food safety. Mm. Anyway. Let's go on to our next project, which is our bunny, our wood decoupage bunny. I found this wooden bunny at the Target Bullseye spot for $3. I understand Dollar Tree has them. I couldn't find them. Anyway, we're going to use the Dollar Tree butterfly napkin and use the same Mod Podge process, but with a little trick. We're going to go ahead and still uh, remove that back layer of the ply, the two ply napkin. But this time we're going to cut around as close to we can, as close to the edges that we can of the bunny, before we mod glue it down. So we'll put a layer of Mod Podge on the layer of the on the bunny, and then put the napkin down, and cut as close to the edge. Then what I do is put a soft napkin or towel down. I'm using a Dollar Tree towel. Uh, and a rolling pin and roll it because it is very delicate, uh, that thin layer of napkin with Mod Podge. Next, we're going to burn the edges using a lighter. And once we burn those edges, it gets it real close to the edge and it seals it on there. So it's really nice. Go around the edges using a lighter to seal it. And then I also like to use my, um, put Mod Podge, a layer of Mod Podge down and then use my heat gun. It helps it heat up faster and you can catch any bubbles. If you do get any bubbles, lay that cloth down and rub your rolling pin.
Last, we're going to go ahead and add these Dollar Tree fake baby's breath to the hurricane. But first, I noticed that they were bubble, they were falling off. So I took it outside, and in a box, I spray painted it with clear acrylic uh, protectant spray, and it seemed to work. And, and that's it. Thank you for coming along with sharing my little uh, Easter projects. I absolutely adore spring. So feel free to comment below. What's your favorite season, and why?